Okay. Uh, in this part 3, we will look at the strings. Okay. So, I, I did some research and uh, Marcus Miller used to uh, endorse uh, DR, DR strings. Okay. And, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, people. Uh, I think he has the high beams. Okay. He's endorsing, he was endorsing DR high beams. And the uh, high beams <coughs> are somewhat the stainless type. Stainless type. That is uh, medium to heavy gauge. Medium to heavy meaning uh, this one is 105. 105. 105. 85. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. 105. 85. 65. 45. Okay, so it's a little on the heavy side. The light gauge is a uh, 180, 60, 40. Okay. And the material is uh, stainless. <coughs> so um, I only knew about the stainless uh, when uh, Marcos uh, started to endorse the Dunlops. Okay. He's now endorsing the Dunlops. And I believe the Dunlops are stainless and still has that... Uh, medium to heavy gauge the 105, 85, 65, and 45 uh, gauge okay so uh, if you're going to uh, analyze it physics uh, the fatter the strings it has uh, a uh, tighter tension okay uh, please correct me if I'm wrong but I've noticed that uh, the sound became uh, fatter because uh, the tension is uh, a little tighter and of course the vibration is uh, quite heavy compared to the hundred in the hundred you need to uh, thump harder okay you need to, to thump harder to uh, actually get that fat sound okay so uh, the ringing uh, the sorry the these strings have a, a particular uh, good ringing sound vibration okay so uh, when I shifted from the medium light to the medium heavy gauge um, the sound became uh, a little richer so it was uh So, um, the thump became a little uh, heavier, okay, a little heavier. Um, that is a subtle difference, but uh, when you tweak up the preamp, the bass portion, um, you can access the heavy bass sound easier, okay, uh, using uh, these strings. And of course, the stainless will give you this uh, punchier and a little brighter tone. <coughs> strings will uh, help you get nearer so I nearer to the tone sorry so uh, I recommend the uh, heavy to uh, medium to heavy gauge stainless okay stainless for this one I'm using Sadowski's uh, if you can get the hand of the Dunlops then that's also good but I don't think you can get uh, the Marcos Miller DR high beams okay oh I'm sorry uh, you cannot get the one with this picture, <laughs> uh, but you can still get the DR high beams. In fact, it's uh, one of the most popular strings that uh, the DR DR has. Okay, eh? so uh, there. I've just noticed that I am in drop D. Yeah, pala na tutugdu ko yung blast. Okay, so. Uh, find the 105 to 45 gauge uh, very helpful 
So I recommend um it could uh, if you're not used to it um just like I was I was using medium to light uh in the past it could be a little heavy on your hands okay uh, so, uh so you have to practice a little more okay it um it hurt my hands a little at first <laughs> because of my aggressive plucking but you'll get used to it okay. so uh in summary of course the technique the correct technique you should have the second you should have the jazz bass and i recommend number three that you string it with a uh, stainless steel uh, medium to heavy gauge strings the 105 85 65 45 okay so uh, that ends part three have a nice day